Here's another story of the peasant and the king. The peasant meets Mariah for the very first time. He finds her extremely attractive. He doesn't know what to say, but he does his best to keep the conversation going as long as possible. Where are you from? Oh, cool, what do you do? That's awesome, how old are you? He continues to drone on like this and bores her with this interview style conversation. And soon she's walking away to engage with someone else. And who might that be? That's right, here comes the king. The peasant looks on while the king has an effortless and genuine conversation with Mariah. She's truly engaged and before long, they're laughing and carrying on as if they'd known each other for years. The peasant then watches in amazement as the king grabs her number and carries on about his way. Now it's important to note that you are one of the dudes in this story, but which one? On this channel, I help you understand that you are the king and as such, it's time to kill the peasant mindset and be the king that you are. Today, I'm telling you how to build a genuine and deep connection very quickly with anybody that you meet. And look, this doesn't just mean girls, and that will become very evident with my first piece of advice, and that is that you want to give people compliments. And so yeah, I would avoid using this one with women unless you already understand game enough to give a compliment without coming off as needy or desperate. And as an aside, you definitely don't want to be complimenting her on her beauty regardless of what you do. Now what's important with compliments is that you genuinely mean them. People can feel it when you're just blowing smoke. But if you're not and you actually mean what you're saying, it will cause people to put their guard down very quickly and start to trust you. They'll also be very inclined to like you and it's a great start in building this genuine connection. Now another thing to note here is that you shouldn't just do a generic compliment like, oh you look good today or something like that. Instead you should go for something a little more specific to them and a little more fun. Something like, you immediately gave off an inviting vibe. You must make friends really easily. And this is also a really good one because now they're more inclined to try to build a connection with you. So after you've dropped a compliment, depending on the situation, the next thing you wanna think about is moving past small talk as quickly as possible. The best way to do that is to take the conversation deeper. And that's easy to do. You ask them a personal question, and this is generally like a what type of question, but then you follow it up with why. So for example, you ask them, what do you love to do outside of work? Once they answer, you follow it up with, why do you love to do that? This will get them to dig a little deeper and get your conversation flowing better. But then you're gonna take it a step further. After they answer why they love to do it, you ask them how they feel when they're doing that thing that they love. This is a really fun one because you'll get to see people light up when they describe the feeling they get when they're doing something they love to do. And as a great bonus to this, they'll also start to associate those same feelings with you because you're putting them into this state of bliss. So the very same feelings that they're getting when they're doing that thing they love, they'll start to get when they just think about talking to you. Another great tool to move past the small talk is to mirror the person. Former FBI negotiator Chris Voss, who wrote an amazing book called Never Split the Difference, recommends repeating the last two to three important words of the person's sentence. So if they say something like, I just really love the outdoors, you could follow it up with the outdoors. This will prompt them to elaborate on what they mean because I guess in this scenario, there are a ton of different types of outdoors. So they could be going cliff diving or doing adrenaline sports like that, or they could just be doing simple walks through the park. But either way, it shows them that you're interested in what they have to say, and they're gonna strive to go deeper in that conversation. Now, once you're getting deeper and going past this small talk, another great tip for you to use is to speak with the person as if you've known them for years. This will make you come off smoother and more natural, and they will feel this too, and they'll start to relax along with you. I've often had people tell me after meeting me that they actually did feel like they had known me for much longer than just that initial interaction, and it was a good feeling, and it definitely showed that we created a connection very quickly. So definitely try this tip out. Okay, so from here, you're gonna want to make some assumptions about whoever you're building this connection with that are positive. So an example of this would be saying something like, you've got a really cool style. You must do something creative for a living. Or you seem to be really grounded emotionally. You must give great advice. They'll like this because you're speaking about them in a positive manner, and it'll also give them a lot more to talk about, which actually leads me into my next point, which is to understand that your job is to listen. The more you can get them to do the talking, the more connected they'll feel to you. After all, what's people's favorite conversation topic? 
themselves. Now, obviously, don't just spit questions at them like a boring style interview similar to the one the peasant was giving at the beginning of this video. Use some of the keys that we already talked about in the going deeper past small talk, such as asking them why or how they feel when they're doing something. But understand that your goal is to keep them talking. And if they can talk for like 80% of the time, then you're doing an amazing job at this and they are going to be inclined to fall in love with you in a platonic sense or otherwise. Now, the last tip I have to build genuine connection extremely fast is to use physical touch. Just think about people that you've been close with in your life, whether it be a family member or a girlfriend. I guarantee that you felt comfortable touching each other, even just in normal conversation. Most people feel this very same way with the people that they're closest with. So if you can initiate physical contact very early in your conversation, they will quickly start to associate the same level of closeness with you. They'll quickly feel more comfortable with you and you'll probably notice them letting their guard down and initiating some physical touch of their own. Now it's important to keep the touch to non-sensual areas at first, such as the shoulder or the elbow. As an example of how to initiate physical touch is utilize high points in the conversation, such as when you both are laughing or you agree on something and lay your hand on their shoulder. Just this little bit of contact will likely be enough to start building that genuine connection you're looking for. And if it's a girl that you're interested in, you can escalate this throughout the conversation to things like playing with her hand or laying your hand on her leg if things are going well. So look, now you're armed with some incredible techniques to build amazing connections really quickly with anyone you want. If you got any value from this, please like the video and subscribe to my channel, join the family. I'd love to have you here. And hey, from there, remember, always put the work in. And from there, leave it in the hands of the one true king. Stay kingly.